Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drew with the Upper Cervical Spine Center, uh, and today we're going to talk a little bit about whiplash. Uh, whiplash is probably the underlying cause of most of the patients that we see. Uh, the problem is, is when you have some sort of a whiplash injury, it usually comes from uh, like a car wreck, a fall, a slip. Uh, typically, it's when you're body stops and your head keeps going or your head stops and your body keeps going. It kind of has that whipping action of the head. And what that can do is it can actually cause a misalignment in your spine that over time can create compensatory changes to the rest of your body. So for example, let's say you were in a car wreck and uh, it flipped your head forward and your body jerked it back and that's why it's called that whiplash. It's not necessarily the trauma going forward as it is your body muscle spasms reacting to it coming back and that's the whipping of your head backwards. Now what happens is muscles, ligaments, and tendons uh, get injured. Now. Typically, people would go to the medical doctor. They give them pain pills and muscle relaxers. What that's going to do is mask the pain you feel from the muscles, ligaments, and tendons until the body can heal them. Then your, the pain in the neck is gone. The problem, though, is the misalignment that resulted from the whipping of the head, one of the bones in the neck being misaligned, when those bones get out of the line, they put pressure internally on the central nerve system, which is the brainstem spinal cord, and that the brainstem doesn't have any pain perception. So the there's no pain, although the misalignment's still there, you don't feel it. But what it's doing is, when those upper bones in the neck get out of the line, they put pressure on the brainstem. Well, the brainstem sends messages, all the messages from your brain, to your heart, your stomach, your liver, your kidneys, your arms, your legs. They control blood supply to the brain. They control every function in your body. So you don't feel the pressure at the brainstem, but it's squeezing off the life from your brain to your body over time, that can start to create a wide range of conditions. We have people come into us and they say, you know, when we look at their spine, we can get a pretty good idea how long the underlying misalignment has been there based off of how the body is compensated, how the body has uh, degenerated as a result. And then it's usually, well, yeah, this looks like it's been here about 20 years. What happened 20 years ago? Oh, you know, 20 years ago, I was rear-ended at a stoplight. But I went, uh, took some medication, the pain went away, and I haven't had any neck pain since. Okay, well, but now all of a sudden you have migraines. Now all of a sudden you have digestive problems, you have sleeping problems, you have chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, you have aches and pains in places you didn't know that you could have aches and pains in, and you really had no idea that it was all because of an accident that happened 20 years ago. So if you've had a whiplash injury, okay, right now is the time to get it corrected. A lot of times you'll have neck pain, back pain, you'll have uh, headaches all because of the whiplash, okay? That's your body saying, hey, there's trauma here, there's an injury. Now, get the problem corrected. Don't take medications to mask it because if you, because you're not fixing the problem, you're only temporarily covering up that symptom while your body's deteriorating, degenerating down throughout the rest of your spine because of the misalignment that occurred. So if you've ever had a whiplash injury, if you've ever been in a car wreck, find an upper cervical doctor, let them check it. It could be related to your health right now. And I promise you, if left uncorrected, it will cause your body to degenerate prematurely, age prematurely, to have symptoms later on down the road that maybe you don't have now. Maybe you have symptoms now. It could have been from a whiplash injury uh, when you were a child, when you played sports, uh, or maybe even just a few years ago. Or maybe you've had pain ever since you had an accident, and, uh, um, and nobody's ever been able to put their finger on it and tell you why. It could be affecting your low back, even though the injury was to your neck, because your body compensates from what's happening down here. So if you have a whiplash injury recently or ever in your past, you owe it to yourself to just get checked by an upper cervical chiropractor to see if there's a problem going on in your neck that could be related to other health problems that you're having today. Maybe you want to prevent other health problems from developing down the road. So find an upper cervical doctor near you. If you live in the Charlotte area, uh, that includes Belmont, 
Gastonia, Matthews, Pineville, Mint Hill, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, Cornelius, Huntersville. Uh, give our office a call at 704-588-5560. Talk to Cynthia and Susanna. Let them set you up for a consultation to at least come in to determine do you have a problem or not. If you don't, hey, that's great. We ruled that out. And we promise we'll refer you to someone else, another specialist that we believe that can help you. But if you do have a problem here, due to that old whiplash injury from months, years ago, then if we can correct it, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised to see how your health will change, how your health will improve, and how we can prevent other health issues from coming further down the road. If you don't live in the Charlotte area, do yourself a favor, find an upper cervical doctor near you. Go online, Google upper cervical chiropractor. If you can't find one, call our office. We'll do our best to find one for you. I hope this video uh, enlightens you a little bit on whiplash injuries, and uh, I hope you take some steps to correct whatever may be affecting your life, interfering with your overall health. Hope you have a great day. We look forward to seeing you soon.